Hey, my dear doers, and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever looked at the top right corner of the Odoo interface where you see the activities, messages, and user menu and thought, I wish I could add my own custom icon right there? Maybe you want a quick link to a view or just a simple button to trigger an action. Well, today you're going to learn exactly how to get started. Instead of overcomplicating things, we are going to cover the absolute basics of adding your first item to the Odoo Sistray registry. By the end of this video, you'll have built a simple module from scratch that adds a custom clickable icon right into Odoo's main navigation bar. So let's get started. First things first, what are we even talking about? In Odoo's modern web client, which is built on the OWL framework, a registry is like a central directory Odoo uses registries to keep track of things like views, field widgets, and you guessed it, the items that appear in the sysstray. So, to add our own icon, we don't hack the core code. Instead, we politely tell Odoo, hey, I have a new user interface component, and we register it in the official sysstray category. Odoo then sees it and automatically adds it to the top bar. It's clean, modular, and the correct way to do it. Our custom module will be very simple. We only need four files to make this work. First, the manifest file. This declares our module and, most importantly, tells Odoo to load our JavaScript and XML assets. Second, the sysstray item.xml. This is an OWL template that defines what our icon looks like. The HTML structure and CSS classes go here. Third, sysstray item.js. This is the JavaScript file containing our OWL component. It defines the logic of what happens when you click the icon. Fourth, the init file. Just a standard empty Python init file. Let's build them one by one. Okay, in your new module, custom sysstray, open up the manifest file. It's pretty standard, but the most important part is the assets key. This assets dictionary tells Odoo, when you load the backend user interface, please make sure you also load my JavaScript and XML files. Without this, Odoo will never know your code exists. Next, let's define what our icon will look like under the file sysstray item.xml. This is super simple. We define a template with a unique name, custom sysstray dot your sysstray item. We'll need this exact name in our JavaScript file. We use standard bootstrap CSS classes like btn, btn link, and text white to make it look right. We use a font awesome icon. I've chosen a figure, but you can use any icon you like. And most importantly, we have T on click. This tells OWL that when this button is clicked, it should run a method named on click in our component. All right, this is the most important part. Let's open sysstrayitem.js. This file does two things. It defines the component's behavior and it registers it in the sysstray. Let's break this down. First, we import component from OWL and registry from Odoo's web core. Then we define our class, your sysstray item. The most important line here is static template. This links our JavaScript component to the XML template we just created. The names must match perfectly. Inside the class, we have our onClick method. For now, it just shows a simple alert. In a real-world scenario, you could use this to call an RPC service, open a view, or do anything you need. And now for the magic. These final two lines are the key to the whole video. Const sysstray is equal to registry.category sysstray. This line gets the specific registry for the sysstray. Sysstray.add, this function adds our item. It takes a unique key and object specifying our component and an optional options object where we can define the sequence to control its position. And that's it, our code is complete. Okay, I've got my Odoo instance running. I'm going to install our new module. The screen will reload and look at that, our Sysstray item is right there. Now let's click it. Perfect, it works exactly as expected. So, to quickly recap the steps, 1. Create your manifest and add your JS and XML files to the web.assets backend. 2. Define the look of your icon in an XML template. 3. Create an OWL component in JavaScript and link it to the template. And finally, add your component to the sysstray registry. There you have it. Customizing the Odoo user interface is incredibly powerful. You're all set to start building your own sysstray tools. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more Odoo development tutorials and drop a comment below. What custom item are you going to build for your sysstray? Thanks for watching and happy coding.